you tuned into an episode of Not Safe for We Rappers. Lee Kane, my yeah, little brother. Jay Lewis. You know. That's how we coming. You heard me raw and uncut. You heard me fuck another nigga, man. You know, Kane and his bitch with my little brother Jay, you know what it is, man. We don't play. We run out here tearing the streets up, you know. Advertisement, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucking marketing, sales, streams, all that, we and all that, you know, we bought that bag, man. We ain't worried about no other nigga. No, we ain't no group. He do his thing, I do my thing, but we just two niggas that can communicate and relate. You know. Get it, man. Kane music, you hear me? Dirty man UMG, black light, you know what I'm saying? That's how we doing it, man. Shit, I'll put that bitch out. You know what I'm saying? I mean, nigga be like, I've been, I been getting feedback from that bitch. I've been getting all kind of feedback. Like, man, say, Kane, man, you gotta get back to the. Oh, bitch, you gonna give me a lawyer, bitch? <laughs> bitch, you gonna give me a motherfucking. What, retain a lawyer, bitch? Oh, you gonna give me a insurance policy? Fuck wrong with y'all, man. I'm a gangster, so I'm just running game. That's what that bitch based on, me running game. Motherfuckers who speak on that and deny that is a motherfucker who don't want free game. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving away free game. That shit don't come by easy, man. You know what I'm saying? So, like, who, you know what I'm saying? Who, who, who mad about it? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, the verdict is doing its thing. Oh, yeah. I released it March 17th. You know what I'm saying? I got shit. I've been working on Dreams of Getting Rich 3. It's about, about to drop. I got uh, the first two of them. Two of them. Dreams of Getting Rich 1 and Dreams of Getting Rich 2. Them is on iTunes, Spotify, everything. Live mixtapes, my mixtape, everything. Uh, and shit, I'm about to put this bit out. I got missed on that bit. I got Star Leader on that bitch. I got a lot of people on that bitch, man. That bitch don't, man. Shit, I got my own. You know, one of my main producers tonight, Touchdown. You know, uh, he one of them. I got uh, my nigga from Atlanta, man. Drunk down there on this. I got some shit from, uh, from the Ripple. He from Bad Rose. I got some shit. I got a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really. I got a lot of shit. I got some shit from um, my partner in Atlanta, John Boy. You know, he been working with Future and shit. So, I got a lot of people. Still lead on this bitch, like I said, I got mixed on here, I got Moolah Q, I got uh, my nigga Yellow on that bitch, I got a lot of people on that bitch. Yeah, before I started rapping, I was DJing and shit, you know what I'm saying? So, I ain't jumped straight into it, I wanted to learn more about this shit, you know, so. I just jumped out the post rapping, well, I jumped out the post and landed in the cell block. Look, check this out, like, the game changed, like, each generation, I feel like each generation, I don't want to say maybe every 10 years or so, but each generation, it, it, it build a, a new trend is set, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying clothes or, or you know what I'm saying, styles and nothing. I mean clothes and nothing like this. I ain't saying that, that specifically, but like shit just changing, you know what I'm saying? Some of it be for the better, some of it be for the worse. Like they got a lot of these niggas, like what I spoke about the last week, they don't listen, they don't understand. They, it's, it's competition in it all, but they feel like competition, like they, like a nigga might run home and tell his bitch, like, he beefing with a nigga, but it's not beef, it's a friend of competition. It's us out rapping each other. It ain't nothing that we wanna really to die about. I ain't trying to die about no rap, but I'ma bust your head if you fuck with me about this rap shit. You know what I'm saying? And they got these young generation got them misconstrued. Like niggas don't even know who Pac is. Nigga can't tell you a Pac verse. You know what I'm saying? And I don't I ain't putting myself in the category of booing them, but I was born in a time period. They was born that so I see things different. And they got niggas with understanding that's willing to accept the knowledge when a nigga like me run it to them. You know what I'm saying? Like Jay, man. But yeah, that shit like, that shit really, well, you know, everywhere, you know, new generations is new shit, you know what I'm saying? You gonna, you ain't finna hear the same people rapping, you know what I'm saying? The same, the the whole, you know, the whole 10 years, you might, you might, yeah. every, you know, every so often the shit change, you know what I'm saying? People talk about different shit. You know, you probably talking about some shit that, you know, that old niggas be talking about, you try to talk about now, nah, niggas ain't gonna understand because this shit changed. Like, they they, 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 they cut their hands with, they wash their hands with niggas, man. Look, it ain't the point of a, a nigga hating on a nigga, they wash their hands with it because they feel like, man, look, I'm gonna give you the opportunity to explain what's going on yeah. to you, and then you only accept knowledge, and you not learn from my mistakes. Why would I risk my jeopardize what I think? Just like this, they got OG niggas that sell dope, you know what I'm saying? They got niggas that sell dope that's depending on the younger generation and the music and the urban culture to to make to be successful so they can be able to come out and bring they old schools and they foreign cars out without the fans getting on their trail.
But these young niggas, man, them niggas ain't got no understanding, man. It's it's cool, it's cool for some situations, but not every situation. It's not from a, it's not cool when it's a learning experience. You know what I'm saying? When it's a bullshit situation, nigga getting out their body, a little club or some people wild and all that, it's cool. But when it's from a learning experience, nigga still don't have no understanding. So it ain't no beef between the generations. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just a, a dead issue. Them OG niggas wash their hands with niggas. That's just like who keep front of nigga something and keep fucking up. You ain't finna keep front this nigga, man. Know what I'm saying? You, you, you ain't learn from your last mistakes, nigga. You ain't learn from your brother, nigga. Know what I'm saying? That's how the nigga, that's how I feel. That's how I see it. Uh, his brother was following me on, on Twitter. So I was on I was on Twitter. I had posted a little video when he was having a little argument. So I was like, man, somebody gotta somebody gotta help me find this little dude. So shit, his brother was like, yeah, that's my little brother. So he did me, so that nigga had FaceTime me like probably five minutes after I had posted it on Twitter. And I linked up with him and shit got him down there. <laughs> shit, bro. Like, like niggas say, bro. Like social media, that shit, that shit. Then got a lot of people just be tripping, man. Like people get on social media, like they can't be touched in real life. And that's what kind of situation it was. A lot of social media thugging and got his ass whooped. So that's just what it was, what it was. I mean, but y'all were cool at one point, right? Yeah, but you know, niggas change. It what happened. That shit, life. Everybody change. Niggas switch up. Start acting like hoes. So that's where that shit come from. Niggas acting like a bitch. Niggas changed up. Niggas hating, saying, you know, that damn, like, damn, he don't need me, he don't need me to, you know, uh, to get to the next level. So, you know, niggas started hating. Social media does it, so that's what happened to him. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he said? Yeah. Oh, that nigga lied. <laughs> that nigga lied. Right. Oh, what you want me to tell? Right, I'm gonna just explain the shit. Like I said, you tried to come out there to make peace, and then, you know, that's what y'all said, and y'all oh, no. came look, on some different type of shit. I had, look, I had, I walked out there here, I, I had seen what he was, because he was on Snapchat. Like, you know what I'm saying? The area that he was in, it looked familiar. So, I seen him on Snapchat, and I just put my shoes on, because I knew exactly where he was. I went there, when I first went there, I missed, I had just missed him, so I thought he was gone. So I had like two blunts in my pocket or something like that. I smoked a little blunt. I waited on him, I was about to leave. And I seen him pulling in. When I seen him pulling in, like that nigga was looking in the car. And they was looking in the car. He went and parked his car, and hopped out. He ain't think nothing of that at first. So when he hopped out, I hopped out too. And he like, oh, I've been waiting on this, I've been waiting on this. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm like, no, I'm like, shit, like, like, you know, like, just see if you still got the same energy, you know what I'm saying? So shit, that's how that shit turned out. Ain't nobody trying to cry when I'm setting up and shit. We would have cried with this head, you know. They ain't want to go down like this. They don't give a fuck. They ain't no room to fight, no way. Oh yeah, they said you smashed his, uh... <laughs> smash his wife, huh? I ain't smashed his wife. They said I smashed his wife? Yeah. Man. Niggas say that shit, but shit. <laughs> niggas, niggas just feel like that. Man, you going deeper to the details, man. Niggas just feel like that. I never said I did or never said I didn't. Yeah. Somebody said that shit, so he just took that shit and ran with it. Like, that, you know what I'm saying? That's what happened. Man, that nigga felt like a nigga fucked this bitch. Yeah, because the nigga didn't say, yeah, I ain't, I ain't do that. Or the nigga, say, nigga ain't say, yeah. So, shit, if a nigga don't say nothing, nigga feel like, you know what I'm saying? You left room for questioning. Well, <laughs> you, you know. You ain't find closure with yourself, fuck. Uh. Yeah, you need to go check up. <laughs> you ain't for sure on the bitch, nigga. You bad at this bitch. You need to be, man. You need to be, oh, man. We ain't never had no problem. That's what people fail to realize. Yeah. Man, I did come home. Well, I ain't just come home. I went to jail for it. I'm not saying I'm a murderer or I kill people, but <laughs> I was a people with somebody and they end up dead, man. That's what beef feels. That shit we had going on wasn't beef. Man, niggas be getting shit misconstrued. And I done seen Buku niggas do the same thing. Fall off with a nigga, get back cool with a nigga, fall off with a nigga, get back cool with a nigga. Who are you to judge me? My gangsta ain't off of course. I ain't never told on no nigga. I ain't never lied on no nigga. Set no nigga up or none of that. You know, I ain't winning every fight, but hey, I fought. Hey, but man, that dude wasn't beefing like that. I wouldn't mind getting money with the little nigga. You know what I'm saying? He, he got all this swag and shit. He just ain't been his mind at all the way, and I hope I can just. Help him with the business side and we can get some money together, you know what I'm saying? Other than that, a lot of shit, man. That shit, I leave mean, that shit for the media, man. Y'all ain't know we coming up and arguing with no nigga on no internet or putting no guns on the internet. I thought the feds gonna get you when you do that shit. I, I ain't trying to go to the feds. Nigga, get on you. You can hear me? Yeah, nigga, get on your job. Try to run a moment, man, you'll probably get robbed. Yeah.
I got a nice little bar. Your girlfriend a freak, she like to give me that slob. A lot of slob on my mind. The bitch she a hoe. I told the bitch to go and get a blunt from the stove. She double back and told me that she wanted some more. I told her no. I gotta get this money, I gotta go. You know how I'm coming. Shit, one line to take your woman. Lick can't be the name. And with that iron, I don't be stunning. You get in my way, that's where you lay. And I don't play. End of your day, get out my way, one to your face. Fluff the fluff to how the chopper sound. You fuck around with the cane, and I'ma lay you down. You fuck around with the J, and I'ma lay you down. And you know I don't play. When I come around, I'm in your backyard. Riding that leg, boy, that's how OG's coming. You know I don't be stunning, and I'm all about money. I gotta catch the sale right now. I ain't trying to go to jail right now. I might go to hell right now. I got some wicked ways. I ain't been out my mind for like 60 days I gotta get back to it, yeah And I been chasing them stacks You a bitch ass hoe, you been chasing the rat, yeah Tell your boyfriend to get my dick back He been counting a nigga pockets Shit, how you do that? How you love that? I roll where the thugs at and where the clubs at, yeah And where the drugs at, come and get it Seekers in my city, they ain't fucking with me Yeah, I ain't stopping till I get 150 M's Plus I got 150 M's for the 18, these niggas hate me And I been stacking bread lately, 100 grand man Yeah I do the record man, these niggas don't understand Running with the gun in hand, drum on the bottom of this bitch Sound like a marching band, yeah Lecane who I am, yeah But them hoes call me Sam And if you hear your girl call me Sam, I fucked her before Yeah <laughs> Look, hey, look, young nigga, I know I could really change the game. They got some niggas out here hating, they don't feel the same. But I ain't bothered by you niggas, I stay in my lane. I put that pressure to that mic and make you feel that pain. You know I got it out the mud, I'm from Skyland Square. Well, everybody keep a pistol, them niggas don't care. Could never change, super solid, I always been it. We never lie up on no records, we only stay facts. And I quit sipping on that lean, cause that shit ain't for me. But nigga, I can smoke a pound a day, it's over with me. I try to stay away from niggas that want what I got. I know them niggas probably plotting, but I clutch a Glock. Never knew that it would be this way, I never stop. You probably playing on my downfall, I never stop. Where you going? Say J. Lewis, I'm going to the top. What you doing? What you clutching? No, I keep a Glock. Yeah. Me in the street, nigga. You weak, then you beat, nigga. Your girl beat me, nigga. I be in the streets, nigga. Ten toes down every day. I'm on my feet, nigga. This is how I eat, nigga. And you ain't finna stop that. Fucking around with Kane, you get your whole top pushed back. Hey, you better get on your job. The bitch tried to sell a pussy, but a pussy got robbed. Hey, I speak that soldier shit. Run it till it's over with. Hold a clip, stuff it in the gun, and get it over with. Stand over him, finish him, punish him. That nigga pussy. Yeah, every last one of them. Ah, oh, I'm gonna run that bitch. Whenever you ready, you heard him, I keep the gorilla. Whatever the special, you're coughing the heckle, you run up. Bow, 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 bow. Nobody can help you. It can't be the name. I'm taking over this interview. Me and Jay Lewis. Nigga, you don't know what we've been through. Y'all niggas hate, but that's all in your blood. It's hereditary. That shit ain't necessary. You niggas very scared. I leave you bleeding like we in the month of February. Let me stop, man. Look at